She was kind. She was fierce. She was open. She was loyal. Tiffany Hill was a mother of three, a Marine, and someone who did everything right as she tried to escape domestic violence. Her story is tragic and unfair. Last November, she was murdered by her estranged husband, Keeland Hill, in the parking lot of a Vancouver school in front of her three kids. He also shot her mother, who thankfully survived. Then he took his own life. There was a restraining order in place, but it wasn't enough to protect her. Republican State Senator Linda Wilson thinks this new bill could have. The day she was killed, he was in that parking lot for a half an hour beforehand. So she would have been well aware. They would have known that he was there. She could have gone into the school or stayed in the school, and they could have gone into lockdown. I mean, there was a whole lot of things that could have happened. A survivor of domestic abuse herself. Wilson has tried for three years to pass a bill that would help victims like Tiffany keep track of their abusers. The difference this year was Tiffany's story. We really did need a hero to get it through, and Tiffany Hill, who served her country with honor as a Marine, became that hero. Keeland killed Tiffany just five days after getting out of jail on bail. He was released despite a warning from prosecutors. I believe, the state believes, that if the defendant is released, he will kill the victim. It's a fact Tiffany's friends made sure lawmakers realized as they considered the bill. She was given a no contact order. For 64 days in a row, he violated that. So I beg you, please consider Tiffany. The bill allows the state to set up an app that corresponds with ankle monitors. When the abuser gets too close, close enough to violate the restraining order, the app alerts the victim on their cell phone so they can get away. Tiffany's friends hope she's the reason someone else's life is saved. Of course, I'd rather have my best friend here, but to think that there's a possibility that one other child is going to have their mom, you know, like, this is all I have to do now. Like, this is it. I feel like this is what Tiffany would want. After the bill passed unanimously in the House with an amendment, her friends watching from the balcony hugged as lawmakers thanked them for their hard work in making this happen. Well, the amendment just clarified some language in the bill, but because that happened, it now has to go back to the Senate for another vote before going back to the House. Senator Wilson, though, is confident it will pass both again and head to the governor's desk for a signature in the next couple of days. We'll continue to follow this and let you know what happens. Guys. All right. Thanks so much, Lindsay.